Greetings, Grotz. It's a great day when a Kickstarter that you did about two years ago that you've forgotten about finally arrives. If this is not it, I'm going to be greatly disappointed. I have no idea what this is, but this is one of my favourite universes and hopefully you're going to enjoy the video. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And I'm kind of excited. Uh, I don't know if I can put the music for the, well, if I say what it is, TV show over the top, because I think I'll probably get a copyright strike, but you can hum it along in your head. And um, hopefully it's not too cheesy if I say Chevron 1 encoded. Okay, so, yeah, I've been waiting a long, long time for this. Um, there's no miniatures, or maybe there's some, but I don't, it's not primarily a miniatures game. Okay. We have here dice. These dice have got some serious weight to them. Okay, let's uh, let's get them out of the box though. Dice and a book, and that's it. Okay, I thought that there was maybe more, but this is what we've got. All right, here we go. Chevron two encoded. Oh, it's maybe multiple books. So I'm not seeing a front cover. Okay. So I would say that I've been hoping for a while now this comes back on television. A new series written by Brad Wright. That's what I'm after. And let's have a look. Stargate SG-1 roleplay game based on Stargate SG-1. Well, of course it's based on Stargate SG-1. Welcome Traveller. You have been recruited to Stargate Command to defend the galaxy against the Go-Old System Lords. Stationed at the secret Phoenix site, you now embark on your training within the Stargate program. Each adventure through the Stargate opens a journey to known and unknown worlds where the future of civilizations may be decided. Your decision to join our cause is greatly appreciated by the Tauri and the people of the Milky Way galaxy. This core rulebook will serve as your guide. Use it to aid in your training, explorations, and in battles to come. The Stargate SG-1 roleplay game is a sci-fi tabletop game where you assume the role of a Stargate team member working with a secret off-world Stargate program designated Phoenix Site. As a member of the Stargate Phoenix Site, you will, and your teammates will go on missions guided by Gate Master to explore new worlds and cultures, obtain new technologies, and fight to preserve freedom of the Milky Way galaxy. When it said explore new worlds, I, I got hung up I thought for a minute like it sounded too much like Star Trek you know was it like their five-year mission to boldly go and explore new worlds Stargate the RPG.com by Wyvern Gaming um, and I pre-ordered this on Kickstarter it must be it must be a year ago now um, but I guess with Covid everything has been slow so let's get into the rulebook first I mean, just the book is cool, man. I miss SG-1 so much. We've talked about it on some of my streams. Uh, SG-1 was such a brilliant TV show. Uh, so much better than the actual Stargate movie as well. Okay, so contents, character creation, races, origin, classes, equipment, feats, ability scores, missions, encounters, the gate master and life forms. And I believe the way they're doing this is they're doing a digital like season. So almost like a TV show, like like the actual Stargate TV show where there's like um there's one new mission every month or something that you and your friends can play through. I haven't played an RPG since before COVID. Um but I was at that point we were playing through the Star Wars RPG, but um I'm excited to get this. I love Stargate. Um, it's possibly my favourite universe. I mean, Star Wars is probably a close second. But, alright, so it's a full colour book. Um, there's a lot of pages in here as well. You're talking like... There must be like 370 odd pages. Um, lots of artwork. Nice little... Um, uh, what would you call this, like an index on every page? So we can see just like where we are in terms of like being the gate master, life forms, 
appendixes. Here you can see all the stats for different enemies and stuff. Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, Intellect, Wisdom and Charisma. So it looks like it's heavily based on D&D. &D. And um, let me flick back to... So you've got Encounters. You've got Missions. Feats. I was going to see equipment classes was what I was interested in, because um, Stargate's a bit different, I guess. So, um, obviously, there's a bunch of different races. The Tokra, for example. Uh, classes. What we got? The diplomat, engineer, medic, scientist, scout, and soldier. Okay, and I don't remember what I paid for this because it was so long ago. But I got the book. I get some unique Stargate themed dice. And each dice is individually wrapped. They're pretty heavy, heavy going dice, actually. Um, and then we're going to look at this other... I think this might be a gate. This might be the DM screen, actually, over here. Wow, okay. Wow, the, the dice are cool. They're like proper metal dice with little, like, engraved stargates on them. Like, each dice has, like, a significant amount of weight to it. So that's your D6. Um... But we've got all sorts in here. What have we got? This looks like a D10. A D12. Is that a D8? Man, Warhammer spoiled me these days just playing with D6s. The D4, the D20, and this might also be a D10. Yeah, Warhammer's totally spoiled me having everything on D6s. But wow, these are very cool dice. Uh, they were an optional upgrade on the Kickstarter. Uh, I'm glad I got them. Plus, I, I don't know if I have all the, the various dice kicking around. I probably have some of them from the Star Wars RPG game, but it kind of uses proprietary dice. Alright, let me put this to the side. Okay, and then this is Stargate role-playing game, based on Stargate SG-1. I don't have enough SG-1 stuff in my life, so just seeing this... Oh, this is the Game Master screen. Oh, cool, okay. Alright, so this, I thought this was a book. You know, sometimes you get the Game Master screen and it's like really thin cardboard. This is like proper, like, hardback book style cardboard. And it opens out with... Combat, conditions such as blinded, diseased, page references, which is very cool, I suppose. Um, mission loadouts, additional loadouts, downtime, difficulties, exhaustion... Plot encounters. Wow. This is a cool DM screen, actually. This this seems like it's been a very well thought out game. Healing and everything on here. And then on the the screen, you've got, obviously, the the gliders. I'm going to have to cast my, my brain back very many years because I haven't watched Stargate. I, I need to watch it again. Uh, you've got ghoul gliders. You've got the Hatak, I think, is the attack vessel. You've got a Malp. You've got the F302s, and on the front you obviously had the gate. I thought I saw, oh yeah, in the bottom right hand corner here you got the replicators, one of my favourite enemies. Um, I thought the replicators were scarier when they were bugs before they got the human form replicators. Spoiler if you haven't watched it, you're only like 20 years late. Um, actually, SG-1 actually had its 25th anniversary of the first season. Um, or the first episode of the first season just last week. So, 25 years, I did not know I would still be as passionate about Stargate. I think it's brilliant. Uh, SG-1 was a brilliant show. If you've never watched it, I actually feel jealous for, I'm jealous of you. Go buy all 10 seasons wherever you can get them and watch them. They're amazing. They're the best science fiction I've ever watched. Um, yeah, and I remember when I first, my flatmate first actually got it. I made fun of him because I was like, what are you watching Stargate for? Because obviously I watched the movie and the movie was anything but good, I guess. Um, but the TV show was on an, a complete other level. So, all right, I'm going to have to dig into this. Um, I might even try and get, like, I have a lot of games that I never get to play on the Blood Angels channel. So maybe at some point we'll play some of them over on the Grots. Um, if you want to see more Kickstarter unboxings, more... Uh, board game content in general and or all of our 40k content then please consider subscribing to the Grotz channel we're here every week for your entertainment thank you ever so much again for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i'm away to dive in and read some pages until next time Grotz fans peace